ihdinas siwat al guide us to the straight path. Now this is a supplication. This is a supplication after glorifying, after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the initial verses and then making a pact and promise with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now the reciter is actually making a dua and asking for guidance. Ihdina. Hadal ya means guidance. Ihdina is asking, guide us. Asirat al mustaqim means what? The straight path. What is this? Now, as you can see, between dunya and between jannah, the shortest, the straightest, the easiest, and the surest path from dunya to directly to jannah is sirat al mustaqim. There might be other routes, but they might be longer, they might be risky, and it might not be sure that they might lead us to Jannah, but the shortest, easiest, surest, and even the most convenient route from dunya to Jannah is what? It is Sarate Mustaki. So after glorifying and praising Allah and making a promise, we make a dua and we request for guidance to Jannah. We make a dua that guide us to spend our lives on a path which surely leads to our desired destination of Jannah. The reciter of Surah Fatiha asks the Hadi Rab himself directly for guidance. And it is, it is the best supplication any believer can make. And that is why Surah Fatiha is also called Surah Dua. But now, before I go ahead with the next verse, I would uh, highlight one thing we need to remember that although we know that this is Surah Fatiha and after glorifying Allah and reciting Surah Fatiha, when we're going to ask for Ihdina Surat al-Mustaqim, the dua will be heard and accepted. 